All right, guys. So before you want to start ordering any any equipment and you want to replace your springs uh, and you come in and you ask us, I need a pair of springs for my garage door, and you're going to tell us uh, it's a garage door, we can't give you those springs because they're all different weights. So each spring, um, again, this is just, this one's loose, so it's a one spring door. It's not the correct weight. We know that spring is wrong. We cannot give you the right spring without knowing the weight of the door. It is 100% just non-negotiable. If you do not supply the right weight, the right weight of the door, then you're, you're going to agree to a problem. Um, you know, that's, that's it. So you have to weigh the door. Now, another problem that I've had is that um, by the time the springs are gone, and the client has tensioned it and retensioned it, and someone else has come and they've changed this and they've changed that spring. Every time it digs into the torsion bar, and what can happen is if you are weighing your, you need the full weight of the door on the scales, obviously, um, not with the springs assisting it because you're not going to get the weight of the door. You need the weight of the door with all its hardware, so its full weight needs to be down on a set of scales. Um, the other thing is you cannot loosen this tensioning you cannot change this tensioning and this is a problem that i really struggle with in the beginning because as soon as you take your spanner your little spanner over here and you touch that door you're married to that door no matter what you tell the client when you come and you start quoting on cables and brackets and bearings and cable drums and springs and torsion bar and then the bill is huge they go yeah, but you changed my door. It was working before. Now it's not working anymore. You cannot adjust this mechanism in any way. You just need to determine the weight. So somehow you have to relieve the weight off the spring system before you can get that weight. So the way I find is there's different methods, different doors. The method I quite like to use, especially when I'm alone, and it's a double garage door. So let's face it, as a contractor, you're alone when you're going out to quote, because taking all your staff with to quote is just, it's very, very expensive, obviously, and they are not really gonna be able to help you too much, um, unless you're carrying a lot of stock with you, which isn't always the case. So you want to be able to just weigh it so you can quote accurately. Um, so the way I like to do it is, if it's a big double garage wooden door I've made myself this crane and what I do is I lift the door and I push it again the door okay and I put it down on the crane with the bottom of the door sitting in here and this is a very very simple device um, you just jack it up like that and then I take the two scales and I put them underneath underneath each one I often have to rest them on wooden blocks but before you do anything so I rest them onto the blocks before you do anything let's rewind that So I'm going to lower this. There's one thing you have to remember, and that is that tape is your friend. So before you do anything, you get yourself a roll of tape, and you tape up your cable drums, just like this. I'm quite fond of fabric tape. It is more expensive, but... Actually, it holds better. And the reason for doing that is when you relieve the weight of the door, in one manner or another, this is going to cause uh, what fishermen call an overwind, what garage door installers called a headache. So we tape up 
The same with um, tension spring garage doors. You tape up your pulley so your cable don't come off that pulley. And that's why tape is your friend. We keep that in the pocket. That's how much we love it. Then, the next thing I do is I need to relieve the weight of this door by lifting this up. But what happens when I lift it is the cable drums are going to operate. So I need to lock that up. That's why I have these devices. It's just simply a torsion bar, a tension bar attached to a spring end. So I made a little clamp. You make sure it's completely backed off. And then I don't weld in. I, I, I use a bit of fabric tape. And again, bang it in proper. And I lock up the torsion bar. Because this end bit, you can always get into. So because this is a single-sided garage door, if it was a double, I would do both. One on either side. But to keep this video short, we're just going to pop one of these on the end. Now when we lift it, with this, that ain't turning. So I lift it up with a crane. Now we can make these cranes for you. It's on a special order. I jack it up, pop the scales underneath, normally on a block of wood, a piece of uh, wood like that each, and then I lower it onto there. And I check the weights. Before I do that, I check the cables are loose. Okay, but this is a mission. This this is also a mission. If you if you are one or two guys, there is another way to do it. And that way, so I'm going to relieve this now, but I'm leaving the tape on. So. Both this, these, all these ways, we are not adjusting the mechanism. Guys, it's always good to have the client there. I'm going to pop the scales on. There. One there. And one there. I, I get these, you know, these matching scales are from Discam. Uh, it's 120 kilogram max. <coughs> so we use two. And yes, I've tested them. Stand on two, 40, 40. Stand on one, get 80. That does work, right? So now we need to relieve the tension of this and put all the weights on the scale. So what you can do is just use two spring end clamps. Make sure the screws are backed all the way off. Because this is a single-sided garage door, I'm going to tension the one. But actually, if you two guys, make sure the orientation is exactly the same way, okay? Like that and like that. If it's better to use two guys on this for your longer ones. Remember, you never know the condition of what's going on in there. You don't want to risk this too much. What I can do is you would put one on the other side and you get each guy, you and your mate, with a pair of tensioners. Watching your cable spring, we are going to relieve. So you can do one side. And then if necessary, you can do the other one. And then you look at your scales. So that's 25. And that's 25. This is a 70 kilogram spring. If I had a 50 kilogram spring in here, we would be 100%. Then when you are done, you allow your pressure back on. 
Whipple. Don't forget to remove this. I know I've left shackles hanging off guys' doors. And you can successfully say my door weighs 50 kilograms. It is a single door. I need one spring. And uh, that's it. Job done.